what's cooking guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm making these sriracha garlic honey wings using the wings i received from box talal they sponsored today's video and i'll be talking more about them shortly so let's make these sriracha garlic honey wings that are perfect for the summer before i get into the recipe i'm gonna do unboxing of the products I received from Box Talal. In this package, as always, they give you this thank you card to show your appreciation as their customer. And then we have the two packs of wings that I had selected so I can share this wings recipe with you all. They already look pretty clean to me, but I will be thoroughly cleaning them regardless. I also have here some boneless beef chunks that I'll be using for a future recipe video, maybe making some beef stew or something. And as per usual, the packaging is great. So the meats you order are still frozen with this styrofoam lining. Box Halal has a wide selection of halal meats including Wagyu beef burgers, chicken, Polish sausages and even halal beef bacon. They are part of the Halal Food Standards Alliance of America which confirms their legitimacy in bringing you the freshest and cleanest halal meats which they ship all across the US making our lives so easy to find the best cuts of halal meat in the US. And they were also kind enough to give me a 10% off discount code on your next order, which I will put on the screen somewhere, and you want to definitely use that code to save some coins. I've worked with Box Halal before and I really enjoy working with them, and thank you to all of you for your continued support and allowing me to have opportunities like this with such great brands. And now let's get into the recipe using the Box Halal wings. So I have here about 20 or so pieces of wings, which I thoroughly cleaned. To this, I'll be adding about a teaspoon of black pepper, but you can use to your taste. All these spices can be adjusted to your taste level, guys. I have an all-purpose seasoning here, which is optional, about a teaspoon again. I have one teaspoon of onion powder here. I'm using all powder seasonings for the dry rub for the wings. I have one teaspoon of garlic powder. I have about a teaspoon of chili powder, which you can adjust as you need. Half a teaspoon of adobo seasoning, which is also optional. One teaspoon of dried thyme. And some cumin powder for a nice smoky flavor in the background. And some salt to taste, of course. I'm keeping in mind that the adobo and the all-purpose seasoning has some salt in it already. And then I have some olive oil of which I'll add about a tablespoon just so the dry rub can coat the wings properly and it will also help in the cooking process in the oven. And you want to just mix everything up really well so the dry rub and the olive oil is coated onto the wings. And after mixing this up, you can refrigerate it either for about 4 hours or overnight is best for the flavors to really seep into the chicken. And now let's preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I have a baking tray here and I've put a baking rack on it. This will help the heat to evenly distribute and for the wings to cook properly. I'm going to be spraying some olive oil on the rack to grease it basically. And then my wings have been marinating for hours now as you can see it's so well seasoned. And I'm just going to place them on the baking rack making sure they don't touch each other. These wings are so perfect for the summer months when people are grilling or having summer parties and you can even fry these instead of baking in the oven which will give it a crispier exterior so you have options of how you actually want to cook them but I prefer to cook mine in the oven the best. And once these are all laid out on the baking tray let's put these in the oven for a total of one hour at 350 degrees fahrenheit but i will be flipping them halfway through and after 30 minutes or so you can see the wings are looking a little cooked but not fully done yet i'm going to take these out for now just to flip over the wings to the other side to give each side a chance to cook and get brown on the outside once these are flipped over they will be going back in the oven for another 30 minutes or until they are fully cooked on the inside and have a little brown color on the outside and after another 30 minutes let's check on these wings and these look good enough to me let's take these out of the oven and you can let these rest for a few minutes in the meantime i'll make the sriracha garlic honey sauce for them 
And let me go over the sauce ingredients with you first. I have unsalted butter here and I'll be using half of this stick. Then I have one teaspoon of smoked paprika for the flavor and the color. I have six garlic cloves here that I've finely chopped. I have that all-purpose seasoning I used earlier for the chicken marinade and I'm using about a teaspoon. I have some salt to my taste. I also have sriracha of course for its spicy flavor and then honey of your choice to add a sweet offset in flavor. And now let's make this sauce. I'm going to heat up a frying pan on low heat for now and to this I'm adding half of the stick of butter or a quarter cup of unsalted butter. If you use salted butter, then just adjust the salt in the sauce as you need to. To this, I'm adding a tablespoon or so of olive oil, which will help the butter to not burn so easily. And on low heat, you want to let this butter melt completely. Make sure it's low heat so the butter doesn't burn. We just want it to melt. And as the butter is melting, I'm going to add the six garlic cloves that I chopped earlier so they can infuse the butter with their flavor. And just keep mixing everything till it's combined. Once the butter has melted and the garlic has been infusing the butter and you see little bubbles forming, I'm going to eyeball in about half a cup of sriracha in there. Of course, you can adjust this however you need to. And then I'm adding about one tablespoon of honey. Again, I'm just eyeballing. You can also use brown sugar instead if you don't have honey. And then I just want to combine all these ingredients so far so they can be incorporated well with each other and once this comes to a light boil let's add the all-purpose seasoning to this you can also substitute this for adobo instead the smoked paprika for the depth and the color and then a little salt to my taste and then mix this all up to combine the ingredients together once this is coming to a boil we will now add the wings to this you can adjust the amount of sauce you need to make based on the quantity of wings you're making and then mix the wings in the sauce to coat them completely. And also guys, you don't have to use wings. You can also use um, drumsticks or chicken thighs or even chicken breast to make this or you can make boneless chicken wings. You can change the cut of the meat to your liking. And here are my seasoned wings cooking in the sriracha garlic honey wing sauce and i'm going to be serving them on this plate here you can serve them with any type of sauce of your choice these would be really good with the blue cheese or ranch sauces but i just didn't have any on hand today and guys here are my spicy garlicky and a little bit sweet sriracha garlic honey wings that are perfect for summer parties if you enjoyed today's video make sure to like comment share and subscribe Thank you again to Box to Law for working with me again. I really enjoyed creating this recipe for you all and I hope you guys give it a try. And also don't forget to use the 10% off coupon code I have shared from Box to Law. You can find more information in the description box below on the brand and also the ingredients to make these juicy wings. Thanks again for watching guys and for your continued support. I will try to upload more recipe videos for you guys as soon as I get more time on my hands, but I appreciate your continued support always. I'll be seeing you in the next one, guys. Until then, take care of yourselves.